Alright guys, I guess we're back with another reaction video. Well, we're going to react to Ref says this woke deaths destroy Lord of the Rings game. I assume this is probably about uh, Tales of the Shire. Now, I've grown up with Lord of the Rings. I think it's still one of the best movies. Both, all three are still one of the best. Uh, wait a minute. The Trilogy. Is, is part of the best movies ever made. Um, like, it is crazy how, how, how good these movies are. How, how well they hold up to this day. And, um, yeah, while the Hobbit movies weren't that great. They were like a 5 out of 10. A 6 out of 10. I still very much enjoyed them. And, yeah. Lord of the Rings is one of the few st things that you can really just appreciate the most in like the cinema in in the, in the cinema in the theaters because man on the big screen the full of the full extended cut damn this is this is some good shit when it comes to video games i played a few lord of the rings video games there was the one for the gamecube which was actually really good it was a turn based rpg but it was really good i still have the lord of the ring games rings games for the playstation 2 um i played like this call of duty like lord of the rings game uh for the playstation 3 with my brother a lot like it had like capture the flag like eliminate so and so many and 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 stuff it was also really fun there was also uh, another PlayStation 3 game, which was more like an action game. Um, yeah, that was also really good. Yeah, I, I, I love Lord of the Rings. So let's see what they did to Tales of the Shire. <clears throat> I am infinitely curious. Hey, what's up, guys? Up here. So when it comes to insults, you don't have to say mean things to people. All you should say is... One day I hope your favorite franchise gets infected and corrupted with DI and woke Star Wars. Like, it's not as bad for the Lord of the Rings, uh, aside from like Rings, the Rings of Power. Is, is it called that in, in English? I don't know. I haven't watched that and I will never watch it. Um, There hasn't been much DI stuff. I mean, the new anime, like the anime movie looks f like... Looks really good. Not like crazy good, but I like it. I, I still like it. Looks solid. But I don't know. We'll see. Nonsense, because that is a very real reality in the year 2024, and Lord of the Rings is no exception to that. Now, before we get into it's, it's the a very, it's a very, very um, like real reality. I'm 100% sure that it will hit Pokemon next. 100%, I'm 100% sure, because Pokemon itself is, right now, uh, like, at least Scarlet and Violet are very, like, andro andro androgynous, the characters, especially, like, the player characters, so, like, yeah, we'll see. This slop involved with that IP, let's read this quote from J.R.R. Tolkien himself, saying this, Evil cannot create anything new, it can only spoil and destroy what good forces have invented, or created and that that quote still holds up to this day we can see them the movies industry the video game industry the music industry even and i can't think of a better metaphor for what's Art. happening with dei stuff and video games and the entertainment industry as a whole so let's begin here this game has been getting a lot of attention tales Aww, of the shire man. the rings game now what is this all about well here's their description on their website Welcome home, Hobbit. From the creative studio Weta Workshop, live the cozy life of a Hobbit in the wonderful, serene landscape of the Shire. Discover, decorate, and share in this idyllic corner of Middle Earth. Join friendly Hobbits and familiar faces awaiting your arrival in the Tales of the Shire, a Lord of the Rings game. So basically, this is just Stardew Valley with the Lord of the Rings title. Yeah, it's Stardew Valley with Hobbits. With halflings, basically. Slapped onto it. That is the biggest appeal of this game. The fact that it's connected to Lord of the Rings. Just make new IPs at this point. But, who is the studio working with them? Well, as they mentioned, what a workshop here. And if you go to uh -oh. the website and you want a job... 
As our team grows, it's important that we continue to foster an environment where diversity and inclusivity is a priority. So, no white heterosexual men. It is what it is. This is the first thing they say. Join us as our team grows. Like when I read that, I just, I, I don't want to even work with you. Because I know that you're not doing that for diversity and inclusivity stake, uh, sake, but, f but for money, for uh, funding. Like, why would I join you? It's important that we continue to foster an environment where diversity and inclusivity is a priority. Yup. When it comes to the hiring process and working at the studio, the most important... It's not what well you value you can offer to the company. It's not how well you can, like, create things, art, programming, um, whatever. It's about what who you, who you sleep with and what the color of your skin is. And what you identify as. Not what you can bring to the table that can benefit the company, as it should usually be. The important thing is your appearance, the color of your skin, not the merit of your work, the merit of your character, or anything else. This is what's most important to them. And it we also call this... Sexism. We also call this racism. We also call this discrimination. It really shows in their showcase and the previews of this game. So, on September 10th, a few days ago, they posted their new Hobbit Day showcase for September 22nd, the preview of this game. And as you can see, the uh, replies are <laughs> The replies are locked, of course. Of course they're locked. Not a good sign, but before they lock the replies, some people snuck a few comments in. And before we actually watch this quick 15 second clip, let's read some of these replies as a little appetizer here. Warhammer Heresy Kunde Khan. <laughs> the Warhammer fans found Lord of the Rings. So this user says, Dear Lord, this looks terrible. The whole development team should be arrested for the murder of an IP. This looks like an early 2000s shovelware. Who greenlit this, or whoever greenlit this, should resign. This game feels like DI just by looking at it. Who is funding these games? Whoever it is really has to start hiring market research teams. Uh, no one is going to buy this trash game. People are prepared to go woke. So obviously it doesn't look good. Now let's take a quick look at this 15 second clip. 15 seconds oh, long, no. but it speaks a thousand words. Oh no. Ain't no way. <laughs> um, I'm I'm not the one to cry about graphics, you know. But you could have dropped this on the GameCube, and what nobody would have noticed. Did you know that you can make a cutesy, cartoony art style, and it not look ugly? That works. We love hobbits, and with Tales of the Shire, we want. To People say you shouldn't get triggered by colored hair. But what if I say you that colored hair has become a red flag? To immerse you in their world. We just really want Tales of the Shire to feel like a warm hug. <laughs> so welcome to D.I. The Game. Featuring the Lord of the Rings IP as an anchor to Lord of DEI. DEI of the Rings. The Fellowship of DEI. Tales of DEI. <laughs> to draw people in. Yeah. So we'll get into the public reaction to this teaser of the showcase in just a second. But I want to give you guys a little breakdown of the timeline here. So this initial teaser was posted on September 10th. But then... Two days later, after getting clowned on on social media, they would make an important update for all hobbits playing this game. Now, I'm sure you didn't bring your magnifying glass to this video, so I will enhance this message right yeah, here. Yeah, because so I can't this. read it. All of us here at Weta Workshop are excited to have you join us in the Shire, a peaceful corner of Tolkien's world, when a new hobbit steps into Bywater. J.R.R. Tolkien would... would, would... 
roll around in his grave so to speak when he when he would see this for the very when first he could time, see this we want that moment to be everything you're hoping for to ensure we deliver that vision tales of the shire will now be launching in early 2025 so a lot of people are looking at this and the timing of the uh, preview of the showcase and saying so i think what their their goal is it is to soften the backlash if they release it in sec 20 seconds of September, I don't think this would have died down. They got clowned on so hard, the game is now getting delayed. But even for people who are legitimately interested in this game and are not clowning on it, they are disappointed because on multiple occasions, they have indicated that they intended for this game to be released in 2024, and that's clearly not going to happen. But after that... A few days later, the next day actually, they would re-release that same teaser of the showcase and this particular post would get even more attention. People are going crazy on this post. You can see it has nearly 5 million views, over a thousand quotes, most of them making fun of this teaser here. And you can see, as always, the replies are locked. But there's two mistakes that they made with this post. Number one, you can see this little icon right here. This is the hidden reply icon, yeah, meaning yeah, they're yeah. hiding replies. When I say they're hiding replies, they are hiding hundreds of... <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, it's... Uh, cowards. ...of replies. Anything that is critical of this teaser is getting hidden okay and that is a big mistake because hiding replies does have a normal useful function like hiding illegal or terrible things that nobody should be seeing but on top of that if you're using it to hide things that are critical of you or mocking you it's really bad because it basically puts it, it makes you look even more bad because like if everything's fine why are you trying to hide things all those you get comments me? into a neatly organized separate tab that is easily accept accessible with this button right here. And it serves as basically a jumbotron for all the negative comments and they're instantly visible. And this is what happens. You end up with your highest like. The question is, is, is that the target audience or is that a Reddit user? Comment in the replies, being something like this captioned, this is the targeted audience, which based on experience, that sounds about right. But here's some more hidden replies just to give you an idea. They're pretty tame, most of them. Saying this is terrible, go woke, go broke. Uh, why do caps get... <laughs> um, yeah, I'm out. <laughs> what? Is that, is that a... a... <laughs> A uh, little nod to like the the, the uh, situation with the immigrants, or migrants, or illegal immigrants, whatever you want to call them, stealing and eating uh, pets. Seems like it. Out. We all know what they are going to infect the game with: uh, dead on arrival, DEI, go woke, go broke. You get the point, right? Anything that's critical of this is getting hidden by the original poster here, the, the official account for this game. And now, mistake number two. As Cabrutus here points out, this is the creator of DEI Detected as well as Sweet Baby Ink Detected. He says, I wonder why they locked the replies. Yeah, that I wonder why. That is a immature mistake on Twitter, okay? These people clearly have never dealt with any controversy or heat on them because the worst thing you can do, even beyond hiding replies, is locking the replies. Because then, it leaves people with only one... Locking the replies is a bad idea, because now people are going to reply through quote tweets, which gives this even more exposure. <laughs> it's like these people don't run the, uh, like, like they don't know how to run social media. Option in terms of their response, and that is to quote it which gets a lot more interaction and attention. When you reply to a tweet like this, yes, a decent number of your followers will see it, but 
the most people are gonna see it are the ones already on the tweet to begin with. So your, your, your influence isn't quite as big. But when you quote, much more people in your following will see your quote and your comment, <laughs> and then they will go to the tweet. Yeah, exactly. And then they will notice that the replies are turned off, and then they will quote, and it'll just keep snowballing, and then you end up with situations like this, where the quotes get a lot. 2.1k quotes is insane. A lot of attention, and you have Count Dankula here with a tweet with 38,000 likes saying, why are the hobbits blow? That's why. Referring to the people who created this game and some sort of a woke agenda they're trying to inject into... Now, now that, that I realize it, like, aside from... You're not even outside, like... Lord of the Rings, The Hobbit, I have not seen any black hobbits. It, it also doesn't technically make sense uh, due to the location. Because um, the place where the hobbits live is like, it's not super hard that there's no reason for, to get, like, scientifically speaking, there's no reason to get black skin or like darker skin. So even like it makes no sense and also Tolkien hasn't written them in this way. Do this IP. Here's another one saying automatic skip. I don't even have to see the game. So that's what happens when you not only release what's clearly a DEI slop project, but also when you don't know how to handle heat on social media and you hide replies and lock replies and you get results like this. But I could show hundreds of replies dunking on them. You kind of get the point. I want to move on to this one right here. It's a good transition to the rest of this video. This person says, for the love of God, make your own IPs. And that is critical. Okay, I don't know about you, but I'm tired of seeing beloved IP. Let's go back to the quote by Tolkien. Evil cannot create, it can only destroy, which is why they need to take old IPs to destroy them, because otherwise they cannot sell anything, because they cannot create anything new. They just can't. At least like these big studios, I wouldn't call this even a big studio, like this, this is not a big studio. I hope so. IPs used solely for clout. And they take the IP and the product they make out of it doesn't represent anything the IP resembles. Okay, you basically have an entirely different game with different goals, different philosophies, different lore, what have you. And then they just slap Lord of the Rings on it and they say, yes, check this out because you're a Lord of the Rings fan. You should trust that it's good. And it's really, really annoying. Just make your own thing. And we see this all the time nowadays. And speaking of... Or... Or, or, that could also be a nice idea, take an IP and make a game that actually accurately represents that IP. If you can't create something new, take something old, utilize what you have and make a good game. Other Lord of the Ring IPs here. You can see the Rings of Power right now is in its second season, and right now a lot of However, that got a second season. However, the how how did this get a second season? How people are critical of various aspects, but of course, running defense as always are the feminists, as the usual, the activists, the games journalists, and all of the above. You can see this Mary Sue article saying the Rings of Power hate is as boring as it is predictable. Now, before we look into what they're referring to, let's remember this quote from the, the late token himself. The, the problem is, not only with Rings of Power, it's not only the woke part, it's own, also how it is produced. Take a look at Lord of the Rings. Why the hell does the old Lord of the Rings movies look better than a modern show? Look at armor. Look at this. Look at the scene where, um, like, um, the sol soldiers from 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 Gondor have like this this 
armor, this like really crazy good looking armor. And then look at look at rings of power, the armor. What is that? What is that? It, it, the problem starts already on how it looks. Self talking about evil, right? Evil being corrupted, irredeemable, and what he's referring to in the context of Lord of the Rings. Yeah, yeah. The I think they have turned the orcs into you know loving fathers, <laughs> which is Rings funny. Are orcs okay? They're supposed to be evil, not someone who has redemption arcs or anything like that. However, in Rings of Power, they have gone a different route. And you can see Nerdrotic here making a sarcastic tweet saying, Orcs just want to have a safe place to raise their kids, be evil, and practice their corrupted form of life in peace. And that is a real subset of the story right now. And in an interview with Deadline, one of the showrunners directly says this, And we were also always fascinated by the idea that the Orcs are fallen elves, Tolkien had this idea that evil can't create anything, it can only corrupt. That the elves, these amazing beautiful creatures, could be corrupted into the orcs was fascinating to us, and they go on to basically imply that they want to go a different route. So they look at the, the brilliant vision of Tolkien and they say, hmm, you know what, I have a better twist. We're going to make these orcs uh, likable, we're going to try to... Hum Why are you always disrespectful to... Writers, manga car, whatever, and change their material. The first time this this got really sour to me was when I looked at the new Dragon Quest three remake, and they were sens half censored art. It doesn't matter at this point. It doesn't matter which gender. They uh, they censored the female characters. They censored the sense. They censored the bunny girls. They have censored the male characters. They censor all around. Also, prototype A and B, by the way. Hmm. Humanize these orcs. They were never meant to, but we're gonna do that. We're gonna make them uh, have families and be uh, something you're gonna feel bad for and sympathize for. And we're gonna make them uh, more of an evolution of what he was trying to do, which is obviously quite disrespectful, but. Let's move on to another situation going on here where there's some, uh, depending on who you ask, some people think it's cringe to be talking about these, these shipping things here. From I dislike shippers. Especially my hero shippers. The worst ship ever created in human history is Bakugo and Deku. What are you on about? You can either have these two as friends or c very close rivals. They not fucking. From the official account saying, okay, we ship them. And the critical drinker would quote them saying, what are you, like 12 years old? And this would result in some very interesting responses uh -oh. where Jesse Earl would say, yes, because no one ever shipped anyone ever in the Lord of the Rings before. Anyways, here's just two boys being straight. It's funny how these people on Twitter cannot only think of human inter close human interaction as sexual you cannot be friends with each other you have to fuck is basically what these people imply I mean let's just ignore that um, Sam had a, a family I think in the movie was it two? And then I think in the books it was even more. Let's just ignore that fact. Yeah, let's let's just ignore that. So this is always so frustrating because number one, you're talking about Sam, for example, who's literally married with kids. But this always reflects back on people don't understand friendships between two men. And it's really, really weird. Uh, going back to middle school, high school, I'm sure a lot of people, a, a lot of men grew up kind of having insecurities about being vulnerable, expressing their emotions, especially when it comes to male-on-male -male friendships, because they're... I think the bigger problem comes to um, being vulnerable to, um, towards women. 
Because my experiences with being vulnerable with other men is a lot more positive than being vulnerable with women. So, I don't know, like, maybe, like... Is this, is this a thing in the United States? I have no idea, but, but here it, it is more fine. However, being open with women it does not work. Not not in my experience. Afraid of being mocked, and you know, your high school bully calling you gay or stuff like that. And now we have the same thing happening just from the other side. Now, now the progressive people are doing this to you. When men show vulnerability with one another, they show a close friendship, what have you, it is labeled as something that must be sexual. And that's really weird. It shows that these people are unable to have any sort of a grasp of what a true friendship is because everything to them has this underlying sexual uh, layer to it, which is just ridiculous. It's projection. It's really weird that they're sharing all these things because these are friendships and they're trying to make it into something that fits their own agenda or their own identity. And it's really weird. It's a weird understanding of friendship between males. But anyways, as you can see, uh, the modern audience has not shown up. They're not going to show up likely for Tales of the Shire, but they're not. Jesus. 50% <laughs> decline from season one. Over the half of the people like said, bye guys, we're gone. We're not watching this. Currently for Rings of Power, which is seeing a 50% decline in viewership from season one. Bye yeah, guys, we're not watching this. Right. The modern audience just doesn't show up. But for now, that's going to do it for this video. As always, I hope you guys feel free to share your thoughts and comments about today's topics in the comment section down below. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time. Yeah, I don't think there's much to add to this. I mean, it's really sad to see all like these beloved franchises getting like stained by this virus. It's just, man, just don't respect, uh, disrespect the creators. Like, you did it with Marvel, you did it with Star Wars, you're gonna do it with Lord of the Rings, you're going, going to do it with the work of Akira Toriyama, uh, if Oda dies, you're gonna do it with uh, One Piece, like, if like the creator of Naruto dies, you'll do it with Naruto, you'll, it, it, it's just... I think there should be more regulations around that. Where you have to be faithful to the source material. And I know it may sound weird, but man, it is it is ah, frustrating to see all my favorites go down this path. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.